بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم دس از می مس عائشہ منظور اینڈ یو آل آر واچنگ مائی چینل کیمسٹری سولوشنس سو ٹوڈے فرسٹ وی آر گوئنگ ٹو ہیو اے لک آن دی ہیزڈ سمبلس سو دیز آر دی سمبلس لائک دس ون از دی گیس انڈر پریشر اینڈ دین نیکسٹ ون از کروزیو سیریس ہیلتھ ہیزڈ ایکیوٹ ٹاکسیسٹی ہیزڈ ہیلتھ ہیزڈ ایکسپلوزیوس آکسیڈائزنگ Hazardous to the environment, flammable. The next are the new symbols for the health as hazard. The old one are this one. But now harmful and irritant toxic will have this, this kind of symbol. Okay. So on the bottles of acids, you people can observe this crucif symbol, this symbol. And this symbol is for dangerous to the environment. This one is the oxidizing. So now we are moving towards the lab apparatuses which are used in the lab. Here are some of the apparatuses. You people can clearly see and read the names of all of the lab apparatuses. Bunsen burner, Pepsin, triangle, evaporating dish, test tube, beaker, crucible and cover, mortar, pestle, iron ring, and ring stand this ring is basically attached with this ring this stand so that's why it is called as a ring stand this one is the clump basically this clump is used to hold the burette so this one is the burette so to hold this burette this clump is used cox watch glass this one is the conical flask and erlenmeyer flask lab burner test tube holder tongues wire gauze these are the pipettes and here are the micro pipettes wash glass the next one is graduated cylinder spatula scopula well plate test tube holder wire brush file forceps and then dropper so these are the some of the apparatuses you people can observe some more apparatuses here like safety bulb or pipette bulb This safety bulb is used at the mouth of this pipette, this volumetric pipette or the simple pipette. So this one is a burette. Condenser is used at the top of the reflux bottles, round bottom flask where you have to condense back the uh, vertically you are attached. And this condenser can also use along with the simple distillation apparatus. This one is the uh, round bottom flask. Next one is the ceramic square. Here is the clumps, burner, this one is the ring stand again, this one is the balance and test tube holder. Here is the question given in the exam. This one is the beaker, conical flask, pipette, filtering funnel, measuring cylinder and burette. So here you people can clearly uh, tell which purpose for which uh, which apparatus will use for which purpose. So for removing 25.0 cm cube of a liquid from a container which apparatus we can use. So for this we can use the exact wherever you will need the word 25.0 for that we will have a specific this one is a 25.0 cm cube. Here is the exact measurement will be of burette, it will be F. Measuring cylinder basically uh, will be used for measuring 60 cm cube of a liquid. So E will be used for this measuring cylinder. As a titrating flask is B, separating precipitate from a solution is filtering funnel, that is D. So these are the apparatuses which you people have to use for measuring the liquids in different apparatuses. So acid is corrosive for the for this purpose the safety precaution which we can take while we doing the perform or performing the experiments you have to use gloves safety goggles okay so gloves and safety goggles should be used these are the precautionary measurements for it if flammable substance is there always remember no flame should be there nearby so fume hood is used for the toxic gas distillation for distillation process safety goggles for titration you should you, you should wear lab coat safety goggles and gloves so uh, these gloves are will be used for the titration process electrolysis of concentrated sodium chloride for uh, 
for the electrolysis of sodium chloride chlorine gas will produce so remember whenever chlorine is basically the toxic gas so that's why we will perform this experiment in the fume cupboard or hood or use a well ventilated space because chlorine is toxic and poisonous gas so that's why for the poisonous gases fume hood or fume cupboard is used so here are some of the exam style question first question is when a measuring cylinder is used and they ask for a change in apparatus to get more reliable results answer should say that burette can be used instead as it is more accurate so pipet filler is another apparatus which i already have shown you why we use pipet filler otherwise we can inhale or we can take uh, the liquids inside our mouth so used to prevent the liquid entering the mouth we have to use pipet filler at the mouth of the graduating pipet fractionating column is basically is used in the fractional distillation apparatus this fractionating column is basically used to separate components of mixtures water in from the downside of the condenser and receiver flask should be open to avoid the build up pressure while using this uh, we will talk about the liebig condenser next question why is the experiment done in a fume cupboard why because i already have told you it releases harmful gases that are poisonous it is toxic in experiments where accuracy is required pipet and burette are used but if the reagent is added in excess then measuring cylinder should be preferably used so these are the apparatuses which basically are used commonly in the lab apparatuses and i already have discussed with the lab hazards along with you so in your exam they can ask and they can give any hazard symbol to ask the name and why this symbol is used for so this is all about the today's lesson so in the next lesson we are going to learn the separation techniques so i hope so that you people have learned it well consistency is a key of success signing off miss aisha manzoor